privately owned company from the indian soil minus 3 these minutes. are the views from the mission control center vvip gallery with the top bass of his row along with chairman in space and the honorable minister uh, eagerly waiting for the launch we are about 2 minutes 40 seconds from the launch the efforts of four year more than four years are coming towards the first fruition which will give a stepping stone event number 60 and 60 to all of us and uh, on on your view the final views of the rocket as it take off prepares to take off all the preparations are in place all parameters behaving normally and uh, the launch being intently monitored ah yeah we will uh, madhuri why don't you tell us about a very important procedure called wind weighing for this uh, stable rockets yes sir as we wait for the launch let me just uh, throw My some light on minutes. it Uh, today morning wind was uh, measured using the wind profiler at sdsc uh, this data was then fed to the mission simulation software uh, and the corrections required in the launch elevation angle and the launch azimuth angle to compensate for the performance deviations of vikram s due to this wind are calculated as you know these adjustments are possible with the launcher the azimuth and the launch elevation angle have been set accordingly the launch azimuth is at 80 degrees and uh, 100 degrees the lea and launch azimuth as i said and this is what is required for this mission this is a standard procedure for all the suborbital rocket launches from sdsc udan se bas 1 minute 10 second dur hum log aur jaise meri sahyogi madhuri ji ne bataya aapko ke hum logo ne aaj subah minus 1 minute hawa ki रफ्तार गति नापी है और इस मापन को हमने अपने मिशन सिमुलेशन प्रोग्राम में डाला है और कौन सी एंगल से किस धरती से कितना एंगल बनाते हुए ये रॉकेट उड़े ताकि हम जो चाहते हैं जो कक्षा हम चाहते हैं जो ऊंचाई हम चाहते हैं वो हमें मिले ये माधुरी जी ने बताया आपको रॉकेट का व्यू लॉन्च से सिर्फ तीस सेकेंड दूर हम अब ज्यादा बोलने वाले नहीं है कुछ देर तक हम आपके साथ मिलकर के इस रॉकेट की व्यूज को एंजॉय करेंगे लास्ट फ्यू मिनट्स लास्ट फ्यू सेकंड्स, ट्वेंटी सेकंड्स, वी मोमेंटरी गो क्वाइट एंड वी फील द लॉन्च अलोंग विथ यू वी एंजॉय द लॉन्च अलोंग विथ यू जस्ट टेन सेकेंड्स टू लॉन्च टेन नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू One zero. Event number ninety six completed. And we have a successful lift off of Vikram S rocket. I think I should be able to show you the jubilant environment here at the mission control center, where the entire team is celebrating the launch and the spin stabilized rocket. The views from the launcher camera. in a few seconds uh, the vehicle will undergo the condition of maximum aerodynamic pressure followed by the motor burnout and we will get you those confirmations shortly the vehicle will experience q max around 15 seconds and at the same time maximum aerodynamic loads will occur just to remind the viewers this is an aerodynamically stabilized vehicle at tw 20 seconds flight time we have reached mark Five, Plus which minute. means it is flying at five times the velocity of sound, and with this the vehicle has achieved hypersonic velocities. It looks like we do have successful burnout, and the flight trajectory is tracking as per the prediction. Rocket is now at the altitude of 66 kilometers, 67 now. We have completed 80 seconds of flight time. We are around 34 seconds away from the launch pad. and the totally intended trajectory is being followed the present altitude is 75 kilometers as we slowly go towards our target of crossing 80 kilometers and way beyond that uh, nominally we expect to be around 100 kilometers uh, uh, when the peak altitude occurs see the screen views from the mission control center 
86 kilometers in altitude. We are at 85 kilometers now, and slowly and steadily we are reaching our peak altitude. Uh, if you can see it on the screens, the altitude profile is being shown. Around 133 seconds have passed. We are very close to the, our peak altitude. We are now at around 88 kilometers peak altitude. And uh, everything has gone as per we have planned. We are very close to the peak altitude now. The peak altitude performance has been reached at around 155 seconds. And now slowly the rocket will start its descent. Actually it has just started from 88 kilometers. Now it has come to around 87.1 kilometer. The peak altitude being met this mission today has given a good successful satisfactory performance as intended by us ji ha ek safal udan pratham udan vikram s ke liye prarambh bada hi rochak raha ye rocket apni gantavya tak bhi pahuncha aur ab apni altitude ko ghatane ki koshish mein मात्र 70 किलोमीटर की ऑल्टीट्यूड पर अब ये रॉकेट स्थित है दिस रॉकेट अचीव द एपोजी ऑफ 89.5 किलोमीटर दैट इज द पीक ऑल्टीट्यूड अचीव बाय दिस रॉकेट वॉज 89.5 पॉइंट फाइव अवर टारगेट वॉज टू क्रॉस 80 किलोमीटर एज यू ऑल नो 80 किलोमीटर इज कॉमनली डिफाइंड एज द स्टार्ट ऑफ स्पेस सो दिस रॉकेट सक्सेसफुली वेंट इन टू स्पेस एज वी इंटेंडेड and now after completing its mission of achieving the peak orbit creating the conditions for the payloads to function and uh, completing its job successfully it is or it is on its way back to a safe splashdown in the bay of bengal as we have intended the range right now is 115 kilometers away from shar and we expect it to impact somewhere around 130 kilometers away from shar the whole thing has gone as per planned ye bahut hi khushi ki baat hai ki sky route ki taraf se unke pehle abhiyan mein hi jo unhone plan kiya tha jo humne plan kiya tha wo hum successful rahe aur ab ye rocket apne splash down ke bahut hi nazdeek hai aur hum kisi bhi shan ab splash down के करेंगे और ये मिशन सक्सेसफुली अकम्प्लिश हो जाएगा हम यहां पर बधाई देना चाहेंगे इन स्पेस को जिन्होंने इस पूरे मिशन को रेगुलेट किया गाइड किया हम बधाई देना चाहेंगे सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर श्रीहरिकोटा को जिन्होंने जिन्होंने ये हमें फैसिलिटेट किया इसरो को इसरो चेयरमैन को वी थैंक ऑल दिस पीपल वी आर हम्बल्ड बाय द सपोर्ट विच वी गॉट हैप्पी व्यूज फ्रॉम द मिशन कंट्रोल एंड या एंड नाउ वी टेक लीव फ्रॉम यू गुड बाय फ्रॉम अवर साइड हैंडिंग ओवर टू श्री पवन गोयंका चेयरमैन इन स्पेस फॉर स्पीच